Mama Sheep is officially in the bar and on lamb watch. It's just getting pretty bagged up. Probably not a whole bunch of babies in there. One big one or a couple small ones. Hi, sweet girl. She's not real happy about being in here by herself, but the building out in her pasture is not big enough for my liking for her to lamb in, and I can keep a better eye on her down here with all the rain we're about to get this week. Um, I don't want lambs outside until I know they're dried off. Y'all definitely could have spread that uh, hay out a little more. And <laughs> if you guys had spread it out more, you would have had more room. <laughs> the term pig pile is quite a literal and realistic term. Ma'am, you are kind of sort of in my way. I need to get down and pick up all those grain bags. Can I get down? Ma'am. <laughs> Let's talk pork cutting forms, sheets from your butcher. We talked about beef ones a little while ago, and I wanted to go over the pork ones with you guys as well. All of them are going to be different from each butcher, uh, so yours won't look exactly like this. My butcher, uh, their cutting instruction forms are extremely detailed, which is fantastic. I love that about them. They are also really good about taking care of any odd requests that I have, which I'll show you on this form. When you're looking for a butcher, you need to ask them if you can see their cutting instruction sheet beforehand, before you even book the appointment. Be like, where can I find prices, uh, cutting forms? If they don't have a cutting instruction form for you, then don't use that butcher because there is no reason that a butcher should be deciding for you which cuts out of your animal that you spent time and money on you should have in your freezer. That is should be 100% up to you and it is their job to take care of it and get it done and have it packaged properly. We use a USDA licensed butcher here. That means that we can ship our meat. We are a licensed pork producer, uh, so our meat needs to be labeled with our farm name and information on it. And because this facility is uh, USDA labeled, they um, that means that we can also ship our meat across state lines, which is really cool and a super added bonus. Top of the forms, pretty basic name. That's our farm name, uh, phone number. Uh, USDA labeled, yes, these ones will be. These are sale animals. So this is pork that will come back in cuts that we will be selling. Pork chops, yes, how thick. On this pig, I'm sending two pigs. So this is form number one. I had three quarter inch and two per package. Two per package is pretty standard. A lot of families choose that when they're filling out their instruction form. Country style spare ribs. Uh, I put no on this pig. You'll see on the other pig, I believe I put yes. I just don't need some from both pigs. Uh, for people who enjoy this cut, they, it's a popular cut, but not everybody uh, knows about it or what to do with it. So it doesn't sell good enough for me to get it from both pigs when I could get these ground up and put into more sausage, which I know will sell. Racks of ribs, no. That's almost always a no for us. Some people buy them, but they usually sit in the freezer for quite a while before they move. Loin roast. Here, I said no. 
I want these into chops. Okay, so that's what that means. No roast. I want them as chops. And that is an option. If you see loin roast come up on your cutting sheet, know that the alternative is more pork chops or your loin roast, okay? So you can get either or. That's something a lot of people don't know that. On this form, you'll see this is one of those requests. Please smoke 20 of the chops or 10 packs. So 10 packs of two. Smoked por pork chops are absolutely delicious, but we've never offered them to our customers before. So I'm only gonna get 10 packs of them and see how they do. Smoking, so if you're lucky enough, you find a butcher that offers, offers regular smoking or nitrate free. We do order nitrate free on occasion. It doesn't sell as good as the regular. Nitrate free isn't as like salty. Um, it's just not the same flavor. It is still really good. There's nothing wrong with it, but people really prefer the traditional uh, nitrate in smoking. Hams, we get those smoked. Always yes on the ham steaks for us. If you don't see them offering ham steaks on your cutting form, I would ask for them. Ham steaks are so versatile. We love them. We're going to get these ones on this pig cut at three quarter inch. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but some people prefer them to be thicker. Yes on the roast weight. So four to five pounds is pretty standard on a ham. That will feed a good sized family and probably provide leftovers as well. Shoulders, um, I'm having these left fresh. I don't want any steaks and I only want one shoulder roast and the rest I want ground up. I want that shoulder roast four to five pounds. So I only want one because the, it right now we are going into April, which means we're going into barbecue season and nobody's gonna be really looking for uh, roasts. Some people will be looking for a couple to throw on their smoker, which is one of our favorite ways to do it. But roasts aren't really all that popular in general, uh, let alone in the middle of the summer. So I'm gonna get one shoulder roast out of this pig and then the rest is gonna be ground. Bacon, we want it smoked, we want it in one pound packages, and we want it thick cut. See how specific this is. This is a butcher worth your time right here. You know, one pound, two pound, five pound, you want it left whole. If you want it fresh or smoked, right? So if you want just that pork belly, you could leave it fresh, thin, regular, thick. That is, I mean, this is top notch cutting form uh, quality here. The hawks. I do order in smoked hawks in the fall for our fall pigs. Again, we are going into summer, so we're getting the hawks ground. I always order these back, not because we sell them, but because we personally use them. Fatback makes a phenomenal salt pork, and salt pork is so easy to make. And leaf lard uh, is good for grinding up with your venison meat in the fall or rendering down into lard for cooking with. Sausage. Now this is where my butcher differs from most. They only like one kind picked per pig unless it's a um, pig I think over like 250 hanging weight then they let you do two. That's just to save both of them and you money. Uh, it's one of the things that's probably it's probably my least favorite thing about this butcher but everything else they do and the quality of their sausage and their smoked meat is is worth it. So we just get a different kind with each pig and then, you know, we always have like four or five types in the freezer for customers. So on this pig, I'm going to get both links and bulk. I want one pound per package. And down here, garlic, that's their best sausage in our opinion and a lot of our customers' opinion. This garlic sausage here will flavor your dish by itself. It is so, so good. 20 pounds of links and the rest bulk. So I specified on that so they know how much. Um, if I don't specify on that, they'll either kind of just do it themselves or they'll reach out and ask. So I just like to specify. Links do sell really well, so I'm gonna go ahead and get 20 uh, one pound packages of links going into barbecue season. Pig number two. Doo, doo, doo. 
All right, same on the pork chops. Yes, three quarter inch cut, two per package. Country style spare ribs, I said yes on this pig because they are fantastic on the grill or the smoker or even in the oven, but not everybody is looking for them. But I do know that I have a handful of customers that will buy them right up. The thing about country style spare ribs that I like is that they have a dark and a light meat on them and a good amount of fat. So it's just a whole lot of flavor going on there. Loin roast, yes, we got um, loin roast out of this pig, three pounds each, just two of them and the rest into chops. So I do have a couple of customers for loin roasts, but I don't think that's going to be a thing until fall. So I'm going to have two on hand just to say I have them. I have another pig going in in May, so it's not a big deal. I can order more. But the rest into chops. Again, we're going into barbecue season. Nitrate in. Smoked. Yes, three-quarter inch on the ham steaks. And yes, on the roasts, three to four pounds. Shoulders. Fresh. Again, no steaks. Yes, only one. Again on this, and then grind the rest. And this one I did four pounds. The other one I did four to five so I will have two shoulder roasts on hand for anybody who's looking for those for their smokers or their grills. Shoulder roasts out of a pig have a really nice fat cap on them and they are fantastic in the smoker. It is one of our favorite things to do. Bacon smoked one pound, thick cut. We're gonna grind the hocks on this pig as well. Yes to all of the uh, extra goodies. The sausage on this one, our second most popular sausage and we need to restock on is maple. We're gonna get all in bulk, one pound packages. Okay, so this is one of the cool things about our butcher is they do offer value added items, which is great if you're selling. One of the things they offer out of pork is kielbasa and their kielbasa is really good. We tried it out of their um, shop. So I ordered 12 pounds of kielbasa and one pound packs out of this pig. I've never offered that for sale before, so we're just getting 12 pounds to start. If we sell out by May, I will order some more in with the next pig. So again, when you are looking for a butcher in your area, make sure they have one of these for you to fill out. Um, also look for references, get on Facebook and post and see who everybody loves for a butcher in your area. This is an animal that you put a lot of time and money into and you don't want to waste money on a butcher that's not going to do a good job or do it the way that you want it. This is meat that's going to feed your family and it should be done how you are going to eat it. I'm not sure if this is a needed video, but I hope it helps somebody out. I get a lot of questions about these cutting forms from my customers when they buy halves or holes off of me. I walk them through it typically the first time so that they understand and so that they know they can get you know, chops instead of loin roast or vice versa. So hopefully somebody needed to be walked through a pork cutting form. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. We will talk soon. Happy homesteading.